Darren, how big a three points is that for you? Yeah, it's massive. You know, um, we've had a couple of you know results that weren't you know, things went against us and two defeats in a row off the back of a really tough run and we haven't had much luck in a game. But I thought our performance today was fantastic. For, especially first half, we really took the game to Newcastle with real high energy and I think it was a thoroughly deserved three points. 17 corners we counted. You had a few chances yourself, Victor, and each of you had a couple of chances. Probably on the balance of it, you deserved it on the basis of that, didn't you? Oh, definitely. You know, we had shots blocked. Um, special praise to Victor and uh, Cesc today. Are both fantastic. You know, Vic's came in, he's not played for a while, but his attitude and application to play for the team was fantastic and for himself. And hopefully his injury's not too bad because he was fantastic. But we had a number of great performers today. And that little bit of luck that we needed has helped us get three points because you need that in football. Great header from you for the goal. Were you a little bit surprised that it squeezed through the keeper at the end? Maybe a little bit because at first I didn't think I got it far enough in the corner and he's got a good hand to it, but you know, it's, you know it was a bit, the pitch is hard and slippy and fortunately for me it, it went under him, but I thought the keeper had a good game today as well, so he, he was very unlucky with that one. How much pressure does this take off you? The home form at the Hawthorns hasn't been great. To finish the year 2015 with a home win is huge, isn't it? No, it's massive. I think that, as I said before, we've been very unlucky. We've had... You know, probably six penalty decisions go when we should have had them not given clear penalties and two that haven't been penalties given against us. So that's a massive swing, but we can't do anything about that. We, you know, and it's hard for the referees as well, we know that. So I keep referring to that little bit of luck. That's all we needed, and you need that in football, and, and we've got that today. And hopefully we can give these fans more performances and, and results like that because they deserve it, and they were fantastic today. Finally, your manager told me before the game, he said he was, it, it was lucky that Sino Berhino even made the bench today because he said he, he wasn't happy with what had happened in the week. I'm not going to ask you what happened in the week, wouldn't expect you to. But have you got to be united here, does Sido need to change his attitude? You as captain, do you need to say something to him? Um, he's, had, he's had a difficult time and, you know, I've, I've spoke to Sido and, and, you know, a lot of people have and, and he is, he's a real good kid, I think, you know, he does some silly things at times that, you know, you, you get really frustrated with but, you know, he is, he's a real good kid and he's a real talented player. I think that's the biggest frustration is how good a player he is and how talented he is and, and he does things that are a little bit petulant at times, but he's young as well. And I think everyone's got to remember that. Maybe it's a little bit more highlighted with him after the situation. Um, it happens at all clubs, but you know everyone does try and speak to him. And he's a, he's a well-liked member of the squad, and we'll see what happens in January. But he's always welcome here because you know we 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 think highly of him, and we want him to do well in the game.